How's that? Not a bad haul, yeah. I'll tell you that. We're going home after this. A little bit of a cook up. Yeah, that's it. Is. G'day guys, welcome back. Today, we're back out at the dam. Now, we're really getting into winter now. It's getting cold. I hope the yabbies are still on the chew. So, the dam's risen a fair bit. Check this out. I'll show you the nets we're using and the baits, and we'll get them in. How about that? Alrighty, so leftover from my last yabby mission. We got a mullet head. So we'll bang that in the net. All we're using today is these Opera House nets. They are one of my favorite baits, uh, nets to use, because the yabbies can get in and can't get out, obviously. But um, in local waterways, rivers, creeks, um, most dams, you're not allowed to use them. They're illegal, so yeah. Only private property, and you'll be right. So we'll get that one in there, chuck in my side. This one, chicken wings. Bang two chicken wings on there. I always use chicken wings. They seem to be one of the best baits. Boom, net number two. So we've got four nets today. Four of the same nets. Uh, this one, chicken giblings, like in my last video. They proved to be a winner. So, thought I'll get some more. Chicken giblets, not giblings. I don't know what a giblet is, but hey, it works. All right, cable tie that one in. Boom, and last but not least, we had tuna in from the last video, but this one, I reckon we go, what have we got in here? A couple of yellowfin whiting. We'll bang that in the net. Hopefully the yabbies want a seafood breakfast, because they're gonna get one. Boom. All right, let's get those nets in. All right, guys, very first net. Um, I forgot my bucket, all I got is a net, so let's pull this net and put them in the net. How's that? Nice feeder yabbies there. In the Opera House net, on the chicken wings. They prove to be a winner every single time. So we'll get this in the net, then we'll sort through them at the car. Oh yeah. There we go, nearly a net full. All right, so this video is gonna be a pretty short one in a bit of a rush, so probably only do two pulls. So that's the first one, get this one back in. Now, let's go get the other nets. Net number two. On the whiting, how's this? That is so cool. Now this sort of dam is very muddy, so, and shallow. Yeah, not, not bad, got a few. That's pretty cool, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 yabbies in that one, still. But this sort of dam, very shallow, it's a good haul. Let's check the next one. Alrighty, still on the same side, still very muddy. The old chicken testicles, the giblets. Four, four measly yabbies. Oh well, get these out, let them go. Put it back out. How's this? Oh, 
Giblets, going back out. Not like that. Cut the scene. Not a bad haul of yabbies. I can tell you that. How's that? Wicked feed there. All right, guys, we're going to sort through these yabbies. A few big ones in here. A fair few, actually. How's that? Lucky last pull. We're going home after this. We'll do a bit of a cook up. I don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll do something. Have a go at that. It's like the bigger yabbies are on this side of the dam. All right, we'll chuck this net down here. We're gonna get the rest. Alrighty, number two. On the whiting, there we go. That's pretty cool. They are all decent size. Have a go at this. Not bad. All right, let's get on um, number three. All right, we're coming up to the shallow, muddy side. Not my favorite side, but hey, it's good just to be out here. Let's see if we can get some mud yabbies. <laughs> no way. How does that work? From nothing to about 50. How good is yabbying? Love it. Lucky last net. The old dibbling, diblets. Two yabbies. Don't I? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I put all the yabbies in one net. This is how many we got. How good is that? So I've got a feed. I picked out all the big ones, put them in the net. The small ones are chucked back. So we'll probably keep, we'll probably chuck half of these back. Um, we'll keep some. I reckon we'll go home. We'll do a cook up and yeah, another successful Yabby mission. So this is probably going to be my last Yabby video because um, winter's coming, the water's getting cold, the Yabbies are switching off and um, yeah, time to film some more content, something different. So there'll be a lot more camping, bush cooking, hunting, fishing, everything. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. And yeah, I'll see ya in the kitchen. See ya. Welcome to my backyard. We've got the yabbies that we caught yesterday. It's the first thing we're gonna do. Got some water, get that on the boil. Boom. Next, we're gonna add some salt. Now you want a decent amount of salt. Just like that. So, we'll wait for that to boil, get the abbeys in, and I'll tell you what we're cooking. All right guys, that water's boiling, let's get those abbeys in. Now the yabbies have been sitting in the freezer for the last probably 15-20 minutes but they're very slow and half asleep. So today what we're cooking, we're cooking adventure yabby patties. Now this is a quick simple meal you can do when you're camping, out with the kids, catch a feed of yabbies and just have a nice treat after. So what you want to do, boil the yabbies. Next. You want Deb. 
Now you can use um, real potatoes or Deb. Deb's quick and easy. So we go with Deb. So you want two packets of Deb. Boom. Next, you want to boil your kettle or your billy, whatever you got. So I'll go get that kettle, boil her up, we'll make some potato. Just like that, kettle's done. So what you want to do, is you pour it in here, whisk it, and you want a thick consistency. You want it to be able to stick together and stick to everything you put in there. So whisk that together, make it nice and thick, then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. Next, four spring onions. So finely dice them up. You can add more or less, doesn't matter. I like four. Now you can put these patties in a burger, you can eat them with mashed potato, you can eat them with anything, just eat them by themselves. Just a nice fun little treat. Alrighty, spring onions done. Whack them in the potato. Just like that. Here, I have one egg. Whack that in there. Kinda helps it stick together. Next, you want some mixed herbs. About that much. Next, cayenne pepper. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Bang a bit of that in there. Bit of olive oil. Um, next, this seasoning. Now, on my last few videos, I've been using this seasoning. Um, the guys from Bolgart Meat Safe have sent me this to use and to show you guys. It's a winner. So we'll bang some of that in there. A fair bit. That's barbecue meat rub from Bolgar Meat Safe. Check them out, guys. Alrighty, now let's mix this together. <laughs> Doesn't look the prettiest, but it will taste the prettiest. There we go, guys. Check that out. Like I said, doesn't look the best, but you wait and see. All right, guys. You want it a little bit thicker than that, so it all sticks together. So, to do that, panko crumbs. I've got a small pack of panko crumbs here. You add some of them in there, and that'll thicken it right up. And give it a nice golden crunch after it's cooked. That's it. Check it out. All right, these yabbies are done. Let's get these peeled, get them in there. And I'll show you the next step. All right, guys. While I'm peeling these tasty little morsels, we'll get the oil on the boil. Because we're going to shallow fry these. And it's going to be good. All right. We'll get the oil on the boil. Let's start peeling. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, guys. They're all peeled. Next, pour all these yabbies into your potato. Mix them around. <laughs> Boom. Like so. All right, guys. All that's mixed together. Boom. Next, 
grab some out put it to whatever shape you want dip it in flour like so this is where it gets really messy but you knead it together like a scone boom like that chuck straight in the oil just keep doing that till it's all used up There you go, number two. How good is this? Got some boiling away. Some golden brown. <laughs> How good is this? All right, guys, we're getting there. Cooking them up. It's nearly dinner time. I'm getting excited. I've got my Bundy. Oh yeah. The last lot's done. Let's get them out. I'm getting hungry. And I just can't wait. Let's dish up, do a bit of B-roll, dig in. <laughs> Alright guys, we're done. Yeah, what is this? All for me. Got a bit of peri peri mayo as a dipping sauce. <laughs> How good is this? Mmm. <laughs> No way. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a thousand of these. Soft and gooey on the inside. Bit of spice. Got some yabbies. Awesome. Well guys, that's it, that's a wrap. I'm gonna dig into these, have a couple of drinks, light a fire, that's me for the night. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next adventure. See ya.